Hi, on today's Tech Tuesday, we talk variable cam control. What does it do? How does it work? There's a few different styles of cam control, on-off switched, variable, and continuously variable. Let's start with the on-off switch style cam control, which typically uses two separate cram profiles on the same camshaft. These profiles have different valve lift and duration, resulting in different engine performance. An oil control solenoid is activated by the ECU to select the cam profile that best suits the engine operating conditions and can be turned on and off while the engine's running and under any RPM and any load conditions. Think of it like this, while the engine's at idle and cruise conditions, the smaller and more streetable camshaft profile is selected. Then, under high RPM, high load conditions, the race camshaft profile is selected. This allows the engine to make the most power across the full operating RPM range without having any of the downsides of big camshafts at lower RPM. Next up, we have variable cam control, which works in a very different way. Remember the mechanically adjustable vernier cam gears? These allowed the tuner to adjust the inside of the cam gear independent to the outside of the cam gear, essentially changing the valve timing and valve overlap on multi-cam engines. This system works pretty well if you're tuning for efficiency at a single engine RPM and engine load. However, this is never the case. We always want the most power we can get under all engine operating conditions. Variable cam control technology gets us a step closer and gives us two electronically controlled cam positions, either off or on, and the amount of cam movement depends on the mechanical phaser that's fitted to the engine. This system affects cam angle and does not change the lift. Now imagine a system where we could target a specific cam angle at any engine RPM and any engine load. Well imagine no more, this is what continuously variable cam control is. Different manufacturers use different methods to manipulate the cam angle, however currently the, the most common is the variating cam phaser. This device relies on engine oil pressure and signals from the engine management system in order to advance, retard or hold the cam in a position which allows maximum cylinder filling resulting in maximum power. A downside of continuously variable cam control is that valve lift is not adjustable. However, this doesn't stop several engine manufacturers from using both continuously variable and on-off switched cam control on the same engine. The best of both worlds. Well, that's it for this tongue twister of a Tech Tuesday. See you next week.